Welcome to our webinar. Today's topic is data center security. We will take a look at the Hillstone flagship data center firewall DX series. And as I go through the presentation, we'll illustrate why we call it carrier grade and future ready. Before we get into the solution, let's first level set on the challenges that IT professionals are facing today. One of the key challenges in today's data centers is an exponential growth in network traffic. So as more people get online, and as more enterprises continue their digital transformation journey, this influx of data puts a strain on existing infrastructure, making it more challenging to monitor and protect the network effectively. Complexity is another issue. IT is now expected to support apps and services that have varying network requirements. Both managing and protecting these diverse apps and services within one single data center infrastructure can be daunting. There's also a risk of service disruptions, which have the potential for severe consequences. Advanced threats are a constant challenge. The threat landscape is constantly morphing. Cyber attacks are more and more sophisticated. Malicious actors are laser focused on finding vulnerabilities in the network and in the apps themselves. So security measures need to adapt to a changing threat landscape as well. And then there's always cost. Data centers require significant investments in hardware, software, and the appropriate security skills and resources. Historically, and arguably today, IT and data centers were considered cost centers. They consume a significant amount of energy and real estate, so having a sustainable solution or one with lower energy consumption is a big boon to IT teams. So against that backdrop, more traffic, more headache, more cost, Let's shift our focus to the emerging trends and requirements that are now shaping the future of data center security. Because of the high data volumes, a firewall with high throughput is a necessity for large data centers. Supporting and securing the rapid transmission and processing of massive amounts of data traffic requires massive throughput. This means having a high-speed networking infrastructure and integrated, scalable security that is capable of handling the increased traffic without compromising on the performance, the security, and the overall user experience. Managing the scarcity of IPv4 addresses. This continues to be a pressing concern. More services, more connected devices means more demand for these finite IP addresses. How do you stretch the limited pool of public IP addresses? Well, we'll talk more about this later in the presentation, but the answer is Hillstone CGNAT solution. Next, system continuity and business availability are of top priority. Service disruptions can have far-reaching consequences. Data centers must have resilient architecture and disaster recovery plans. Redundancy measures, such as backup power systems and redundant modules, and so on can help mitigate the impact of any failures. Next, we have software-defined and AI-powered security. No doubt hackers are using AI in their malware and ransomware. Software-defined and AI-powered security features can better protect data center networks against advanced and sophisticated threats. And having pioneered the use of AI and ML technology in our firewalls over a decade ago, we continue to leverage this expertise across all of our solutions today. And finally, high efficiency and better TCO. Energy consumption and cost are major factors in deploying infrastructure. We will talk more about the, how the X series comes in an energy efficient design at a lower TCO in this presentation. To address these challenges and in line with the current trends in the security space, we believe the X series data center firewall is an ideal solution. It's rich in capability and it's designed to scale to meet any enterprise requirements. It comes with comprehensive security protection, and it comes in an advanced hardware form factor, and it's delivered in a high price performance. So let's take a closer look at what that means. The X-Series are chassis-based next-gen firewalls. They come with extraordinarily high performance and availability. They come in four different models, from the left to right, the X8180, the X9180, the X10800, and the newly released X25812. Each supports different throughput requirements going as high as 3.5 terabits per second. 
They have built-in security intelligence and provide data center operators with deep visibility across all network traffic. They are built on our patented, fully distributed architecture. This means higher, higher reliability, linearly scalable performance, and linear scalability of ports, meaning that each module is armed to perform a set of services, but also work together to process large amounts of data and other computational tasks, making it much more efficient. It comes with rich security features, including the ability to identify and control access to over 6,000 applications. Tens of millions of URLs are, can be filtered, and it includes IPS, antivirus, and botnet detection. So collectively, these features make it possible to provide comprehensive protection. And then our innovation extends to the hardware parts, not just software. So front back ventilation fits the modern data center design and provides adequate cooling for energy consumption that is more economical. And lastly, the X-Series can be purchased with flexible software licensing and bundle, bundles, helping with budget requirements and making it an overall economic cost-effective solution at a great price performance. Let's take a closer look at the X25A12, also known as the carrier grade data center firewall. There are many large enterprises adopting hyperscale architectures to meet their growing needs, but these hyperscale architectures also need hyperscale security to protect against the ever-present threats. The X25A12 offers top-of-the-line performance protection and availability for securing the enterprise hyperscale data center. It comes in a 15 rack unit chassis. In the front, you can see there are two slots for service control modules and 12 slots for service IO modules. The service control modules come with one management port, one console port, two USB ports, and two high availability ports. It also has options to have one terabyte or two terabyte SSD natively for local log storage. And in the back, there are two vertical slots in the middle for switching modules, eight slots for power modules in the middle horizontally, and eight slots for fan trays. The X25A12 supports AC-DC power modules. This mixed configuration of AC-DC power modules offers great flexibility in the power supply deployment. The fan tray provides energy efficiency, and it does this by monitoring the temperature of the power module and adjusting the fan speed automatically. In short, it delivers ultra-high performance, high availability, hyperscalability, and advanced threat protection. Let's look at each of these benefits more closely. Ultra performance means the ability to accommodate many users and respond promptly to sudden spikes in access or concurrent usage. This is a key benefit of the X25A12. It addresses these requirements with extreme high performance through fully distributed architecture based on high speed processing of network traffic. This distributed architecture allows the X25A12 to support up to 3.5 terabytes of firewall performance, including up to 19 million new sessions per second and up to 720 million concurrent connections. This ultra high performance supports massive network flows and connection bursts and keeps the data center running optimally while maintaining its security posture. Carrier grade high availability. In the X25A12, high availability is integrated with the hardware and software design. Let's take a closer look at what all this means. It supports redundant deployment schemes for active, passive, and active, active peer modes to avoid any single point of failure. This means uninterrupted service of customer networks within a data center, and that's very important, especially for ISPs. The firewall supports patented twin mode, a feature that solves the asymmetric traffic in a redundant data center deployment that ensures security and business continuity for critical business services and SLAs. 
So two sets of active passive firewalls in the two data centers are connected via, via a dedicated data link and control link. These two sets of devices synchronize session information and configuration information with each other. At the system level, for system continuity, all modules are redundant. The switching module and service I.O. modules support 1 plus 1 redundancy, and all types of modules are all hot swappable. The chassis itself has redundant and hot swappable fan modules and power supplies as well. But the power, both the power module and fan module support N plus M redundancy. And lastly, in-service software upgrades are also supported. So system upgrades or security patches can be done without requiring a system reboot. And this all helps minimize downtime without sacrificing any of the protection. So hyperscalability for growing traffic demand. Today, hyperscalability is the norm. We know now that the X25 A12 comes in a fully distributed architecture to support hyperscalability in the data center. It includes intelligent traffic distribution algorithms to help distribute high-speed processing of service traffic on the service I.O. modules. It does this through our patented resource management algorithm. It allows for the full potential of distributed multi-core processor platforms. And the benefit of this is that it further increases the performance of concurrent connections on the firewall and also new sessions per second. And equally importantly, it achieves a full linear expansion of the system performance. At the service I.O. module level, it provides high port density and includes four 100 gigi and 20 10 gigi ports on one single module. Each single service I.O. module can support up to 300 gigabit per second firewall throughput. It can also support 1.8 million new connections and also 60 million concurrent connections. And so if you take a look at a full configuration, it can provide up to 48 100 gigi and 240 10 gigi ports while scaling as required. Let's turn to the security features included on the platform. The X series is foundational for consolidating network security in a data center. So what does this mean? Well, it delivers intelligent quality of service. It is a comprehensive VPN solution. It delivers full layer two to layer seven security features. And it has a machine learning based intelligent threat detection and protection engine. Let's take a closer look at these buckets. The intelligent quality of service. This is based on granular application identification and nested user identification. It implements fine-grained two-layer, eight-level traffic control based on policies, and this provides elastic quality of service functions. It is a comprehensive VPN solution. It, is, it comes complete with compatibility with standard IPsec VPN and third-generation SSL VPN, and this provides users with a high-performance, high-capacity, and full-scale VPN solution. It has a distinctive plug-and-play VPN feature, and this simplifies configuration and maintenance for multiple sites that have VPN deployed. And this provides users with convenient and remote secure access services. And combined with other network functions, such as session restrictions, policies, routing, link load balancing, and server load balancing, this is providing users with great control and management of the traffic. Let's take a look at the layer two to layer seven security features. It includes full app security control. It uses advanced in-depth application identification technology to accurately identify thousands of network apps based on protocol features, based on behavior characteristics and correlation analysis. And this includes hundreds of mobile apps and encrypted P2P apps. It includes SQL insertion, XSS cross-site scripts, DOS, DDoS network layer attack prevention, botnet filtering and isolation, and two-way attack detection and full traffic protection. It also includes a high-performance IPS, intrusion prevention system, 
and it can effectively detect threats such as Trojans, worms, spyware, vulnerability attacks, and escape attacks, and provides users with the L2 to L7 network security that it needs. It also includes a URL detection engine to identify and filter all apps and traffic, including SSL encrypted traffic. And lastly, antivirus is included to protect users from accessing malicious websites and files. And it also includes a machine learning based intelligent threat detection and protection engine. And this is accurate and effective DDoS protection with auto configured flood protection thresholds established through machine learning baselines. It includes the ability to build, train, and update in real time. And it includes the detection model against domain generation algorithms, DGA. We have two key differentiating features in the X series, twin mode and CGNAT, and we mentioned this briefly before. Uh, let's first go over twin mode. With respect to reliability or business continuity, most vendors now deliver HA in their solutions in the form of two or more firewalls running at one single site and failing over to each other in the event of an incident. But is that enough, especially for those mission critical data and applications? Today, the reality is data center redundancy, meaning having two data centers in different geolocations so that in the case that one data center suffers from a power failure or a natural disaster, you can fail over your application services from one data center to the secondary data center. So twin mode delivers data center redundancy and solves the asymmetric routing issue. You have two groups of firewalls in two distinct data centers that work and operate in twin mode. So two sets of active passive firewalls are connected through a dedicated data link and control link. The sessions, as well as other configuration information, are dynamically synced between the two data centers, allowing for a smooth failover. So verticals such as telco and large banks in the financial sector, these guys rely on 24-7 infrastructure and they can benefit greatly from this solution. Next, we have CGNAT. So as we mentioned before, IPv6 address depletion is a serious thing. Service providers are faced with the challenge of stretching their limited pool of public IP addresses. Uh, and this is where CGNAT comes into play. So carrier grade NAT is used in NAT 444 scenarios, which translates into, and bear with me, customer private IPv4 to ISP private IPv4 network address an ISP private IPv4 network address to ISP public IPv4 network address for connecting to the internet. And Hillstone's CGNAT solution is specifically designed to meet the requirements. And we'll go over a list of, of how it does this. So X20, the X25A12 can mitigate IPv4 exhaustion while allowing for the existence of both IPv4 and IPv6 addresses. So both protocols can coexist with X25812. The X25812, it also supports transition technologies. So including it includes IPv6 slash IPv4 dual stack, IPv6 and IPv4 tunnel, IPv4 and IPv6 tunnel, which is DS Lite, uh, DNS64, and NAT64. So it supports these transition technologies for IPv6. And these technologies can be used in the typical IPv6 transition network environment. Uh, they safely provide effective conversion or the transmission of data packets between these two protocols. And generally speaking, the overall number of concurrent sessions that can be NAT processed is also limited. It's limited by the protocol part, the protocol port. And the number of concurrent sessions that can be NAT processed for a single IP is 64,511. So while the IP address of the service provider is limited, uh, a large scale of users, concurrent access and sensitivity to bandwidth quality means that the NAT device must also be high performing. And with Hillstone, you can greatly increase this NAT capacity. So Hillstone does this with a unique port 
multiplexing technology. And this technology, what this technology does is the number of concurrent sessions that can be NAT processed for a single IP address can be increased by up to 16 times. And that's, that's a pretty big deal. So the X25A12 also supports large capacity and high performance for log collecting and storage, including NAT logs, IM behavior logs, URL logs for compliance purposes and for other storage needs. So for complete log auditing, customers can license the Hillstone Security Audit Platform. Um, that's an option for them. And lastly, let's take a look at the X-Series ability to support system virtualization. The X25A12 can logically divide a physical firewall into up to 1,000 isolated virtual firewalls. It allows users to dynamically set firewall resources for each virtual firewall based on actual business condition or requirement. This includes CPUs, sessions, number of policies, ports, etc. And it means that service traffic can be easily changed in a virtualized environment. Each virtual firewall system not only has independent system resources, but can also be individually and granularly managed offering independent, secure, independent security management planes for different services or users, and it functions as a completely independent firewall. This allows different infrastructure services or business apps to have its own dedicated firewall service inside an organization. And especially for MSSPs, it allows for multiple tenancies and multiple services, and that's very important for, for that sector specifically. And that's it for the presentation portion of our webinar today. Uh, let's move forward to the Q&A. So we have a few questions here and I'll go through them one by one. So the first question is, how does a carrier grade data center firewall differ from a high-end enterprise firewall? So what are the key differences between carrier grade and a high-end enterprise firewall? Well, first of all, this is a very good question. Um, I think most importantly, the carrier grade firewall offers the availability and scalability that the traditional enterprise fi firewall can't match today. Um, as we spoke earlier, the, the Hillstone data center firewall is chassis based uh, and it comes with extraordinary availability from the module level all the way to the system level and from hardware to software. And beyond, beyond this key difference, uh, the carrier grade firewall typically offers more ports as well to handle the extremely high traffic that, you know, that carrier grade data center firewalls uh, need. Next question. So in the context of future demand and trends, which features are most important and need to be prioritized? This is a very good question, and a lot of customers ask this when they're first looking to, to um, understand the lay of the land. So from, uh, from our perspective, there are, very, there are sev several important aspects that should be considered when, when looking at um, a firewall solution. So because of the increase in, in how much traffic there is, so data traffic volumes and increase in applications that are bandwidth intensive or are bandwidth hungry, it means that first and foremost, high throughput capabilities in, in a da data center firewall is super important. Next is virtualization and cloud. So as more data centers expand and accommodate more servers uh, or even virtualization technologies or cloud deployments, um, firewall performance should be scalable to support this growing infrastructure. Uh, so it's super important to, to ensure that the data center firewall solution can handle that increased traffic load um, and also accommodate an additional resources uh, without any disruption. Another element of this is cyber threats. So how effective is the firewall in detecting and mitigating uh, various types of attacks? So prioritizing security features ensures that the firewall can effectively identify and block malicious traffic, including sophisticated threats like uh, APTs, so advanced persistent threats and zero day exploits. Um, another aspect is, so as the network becomes more complex, um, automation and management capabilities become very important. 
uh, because they, these, uh, these features help streamline operations. Um, it also helps reduce human error. Uh, it also improves the overall performance capability, capabilities of the firewall itself. So next question, uh, what kind of features are most necessary for data center firewalls in the healthcare vertical? So great question. Um, so security and privacy of sensitive and confidential data is critical for many reasons in the healthcare vertical. Uh, and there are several things to consider to, to ensure that there is data privacy, data integrity, and, and you know, data protection. Um, so let's high availability and redundancy. Um, this is super important. Healthcare operations and um, healthcare IT teams, they rely heavily on uninterrupted access to, to data and services. So the data center firewall should support features like active passive failover or active active clustering uh, to maintain that network con connectivity even if a hardware failure if there's a hardware failure or maintenance activity happening. Um, so these redundancy features like backup power systems and redundant modules they ensure high availability and minimize downtime. So making sure that the network is always up and always accessible is super important. Um, another issue is compliance support, right? So healthcare organizations have heavy compliance uh, requirements with the industry regulations such as uh, HIPAA, right? So Health, Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, and GDPR. All of these ensure data integrity and um, patient privacy. And firewalls should provide the features and functionality that support these compliance requirements uh, including secure data transmission, encry encryption, and audit trails. So these all are requirements for a lot of federal and state compliance um, and regulatory um, regulations. Um, another, another element is connectivity. So healthcare data centers talk to each other and they require high-speed, reliable connectivity to make sure that there's seamless communication between the healthcare care providers the hospitals, the clinics, and other related um, agencies that work together. Uh, so network infrastructure should support high bandwidth connections and provide low latency access to the critical apps and data and services that these practitioners and, and hospital staff need to make sure that you know, services are ongoing and communications are intact. Um, along the lines of data privacy, um, granular access control to apps and services. Uh, so this, you know, healthcare data centers often require secure remote access for employees, clinicians, and uh, third-party partners. There's a lot of um, remote access to data and services that are required. So, so a data center firewall should provide granular control over that network traffic and allow healthcare organizations to define and enforce specific access policies based on their requirements, based on their user roles, their IP addresses, ports, protocols, and other contextual parameters that ensure the, you know, the safety and protection of services and staff. So this means that only authorized users and services can access the network uh, and all of the resources that it hosts. Another thing to consider is, you know, scalability. Um, data centers, uh, healthcare data center should be designed with scalability in mind to accommodate growing demands of, of things like data storage and data processing. Uh, scalable storage solutions and computing resources, you know, you need to have access to this for seamless expansion if there's more, you know, if there's growing data and more processing requirements of that data over time to make sure that there's no disruption in services. Um, and that there's support for, for the increase in, in services and access. We have another question about uh, ZTNA. Uh, does the ZTNA solution, which is now necessary for many use cases to ensure access security, also applicable to Hillstone data center firewall? So yes, the answer is yes. Uh, Hillstone has its own, we have our own ZTNA solution and it's built on our high performing next generation firewall. 
And as we mentioned earlier, the X series is based on that um, next generation firewall platform. So it includes the ZTNA uh, feature. Um, but I just want to make note that it's only available on specific models. So the X8180, the X9180, and the X10800 um, support ZTNA. Uh, however, the carrier grade one that we talked about today, the X25812, will support ZTNA in the near future, uh, most likely Q3. Next question, uh, is the X25812 generally available? Yes, uh, it is available um, and it's orderable. You can order all the chassis and all the corresponding modules um, today and uh, reach out to your to your local channel or sales representative for that, um, for the details. One, looks like we have one more question. So are those modules in X, X25812 compatible with other Hillstone X series firewall modules? So no, these modules, including the service IO module, the SWM module, the SCM module, these three, these modules are only compatible with the, um, the X25812 itself. They cannot be used in other X series models. And that wraps it up for today. Thank you for your time. And if you have any questions, please use the email on the slide uh, and email us at inquiry at hillstone.net.com. We'll catch you next time.